Here we have a stamp from the Pacific nation of Fiji. It features a Lapita pottery bowl, which we can read in the bottom left. And it has the value of 9 Fijian dollar cents. Looking at the postmark, I can see that the stamp was sent in the mail in October of 1988. Possibly the 4th, or the 14th, or the 24th. Looking it up online, the stamp was actually issued in August of that year. Lapita is the name given to the earliest inhabitants of Fiji, as well as much of Polynesia, Micronesia and Melanesia. Let me get a map. Fiji is of course in the Pacific Ocean and there is evidence that the Lapita culture, these early inhabitants, extended as far from the Bismarck Sea near Papua New Guinea all the way through to Samoa. That's a 3,000 mile wide area. And these early inhabitants were around from 1600 through to 500 BC. So they must have been very skillful navigators of the ocean to get so widely dispersed in the Pacific. Now, what evidence is there that these early inhabitants were at each of these islands? Well, several artifacts have been found, such as jewelry, tools, and fish hooks. But the main piece of evidence is that pottery that was on the stamp. And you can see that the stamp is part of a series featuring Lapita pottery. What makes the Lapita pottery so recognizable are these geometric shapes that are carved into each of the items with a comb-like tool. Now, putting the pottery aside for a little bit, let's take a look at Fiji's postal history, which started in 1870 with these very first stamps. These were issued by the Fijian newspaper, the Fiji Times Express, and they issued these stamps with a monogram, CR. CR was the monogram for the King of Fiji at the time, who was King Takombao and CR stood for Thakumbao Rex. Now, just four years later, in 1874, Fiji becomes a British colony, and they just simply replaced the CR with Queen Victoria's monogram, VR. I also found this one, where Queen Victoria's monogram is overprinting the CR, so this must be in that transition time, and they hadn't yet made the VR stamps. While it was a colony, Fiji issued a number of standard colonial key types, such as these King George V stamps. And the British monarch was always present on their stamps, including these ones featuring the fauna and flora of Fiji with Queen Elizabeth II's portrait. Fiji eventually gained its independence in 1970, and the country still continued to issue bright and colorful stamps depicting the fauna, flora, people, uh, buildings, and natural beauty that the island has to offer including this series of stamps, which is not only displaying landscape imagery of Fiji, but also fragments of Lapita pottery. These stamps are actually showing you the sites of where the Lapita pottery fragments were found. Now, here's a favorite. This one is very interesting. Back in 1938, this stamp was issued displaying a little outrigger canoe. And the issue that people had with this stamp is that the canoe was under full sail, but nobody was on board meaning that maybe the person had fallen off. So we have a man overboard situation with this stamp. So the stamp was re-engraved and reissued to have somebody on the boat. Everyone can now finally relax because somebody's in control of that boat and nobody is overboard. I don't see what the big deal was though. I mean, maybe the person was just lying down or taking a nap. <laughs> See, he was there the whole time. Nobody fell off the boat. Relax. Two down and more to come. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I give clues as to what's coming next and what else I learned along the way. Thanks for watching and see you next time.